What's your kind of investment horizon? How does those kind of goals, Absolutely. does that kind of contradict with the investment timeline and horizon? Or like, does it not contradict? And how can you have the best of both worlds? That is a very astute question because I actually think a lot of investors do not consider all those elements of investment horizon. When you go up market and you're doing more private equity deals, your standard financial model is a five-year financial model. That is your standard. In venture, you understand that five years may probably be a little on the lower end. So you need to be thinking about a seven to nine year. A lot of VCs end up embedding into their agreements with their investors, referred to as a limited partnership agreement, their LPA. They end up embedding automatic extension fund. What does that mean? Is that they are basically foreshadowing to their investors, hey, I may need more time than 10 years. <laughs> so I want to automatically extend my fund. So that's how VCs think about investment horizon. In my view, so this is now me as an investor, I want to think about any company I invest in. I need to be thinking that this is a good company for the long run. Yes, I may get lucky that in the next two years, the company shoots up and grows really, really fast. And that would be phenomenal, right? You always love those exits.